Hey there, everyone. I'm around the wheel, and welcome back to Pima Limbs. We got tripped up pretty hard last time. Had to go straight to the man himself for help, but maybe, maybe, just maybe, that little kick in the pants is what I need to get used to the danger of the hurricane ratings. We are on level four today. Alia Iacta Est. That is a Latin phrase. It means the die has been cast. Basically, this is the point of no return. There's no turning back from here. We got ourselves into this mess. We're going to dig ourselves out. 100 lemmings, 98% to be saved. I know percentage is well enough, you guys. That means I can only kill two of them. And they come out just as fast as their little butts can haul them out of that chute. Three minutes to do it. What do we have here? What do we have? What does this look like? Well, they're going to walk. They're going to walk quite a long ways. And then they're going to make this way down in this little, make their way down in this little circle region here. That might be a good little holding spot. Might be a good little holding cell for these guys. We have no bashers or miners, and we only have diggers. That is not comforting. How are we going to get around this mess? How are we going to dance this mess around? Good gravy. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's crack one off here. All right. And let's play the Chocobo theme. Gets us pumped for the day. Better than a complete breakfast. There we go. All right. Get that drum in there. Boom, break, boom, break, drum. Gonna dig in this hole with my first guy. Probably gonna kill someone, but that's okay. We can kill two guys. Doesn't really matter. If I dig right on the top spot here, yeah, one guy dies. Maybe I don't want him to die, though. Maybe I can just uh, have him build and turn around. That might be advantageous, actually. Because we, we end up that way getting... Hmm. Yeah, I think I might have wanted to turn that guy around, actually. I'm going to go ahead and uh, instigate massive nukage here. Uh, go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and bomb a line all the way back to the end there. I think I think something is something is already fomenting in my brain. I like this. I like where this is going. Only one guy gets by there, so maybe uh, that's never as many builders as it seems like. However many builders he gives you. Well, I guess technically I could... Uh, I guess technically I could bomb it out. Uh, let's see. Let's see if from uh, let's see if from here to the hole will do it. Three, two, one. That's some pretty good measuring right there. No, that's some bad measuring. Never mind. Uh, so yeah, we might just want to dig right there. Although I feel like we might ought to want to save our builders for something a little bit more important, or our diggers rather, for something a little bit more important. Maybe if that guy had died and I could, uh, maybe I should have saved that one guy. I didn't, hmm, I didn't think this through very well now, did I? Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead. That's three guys. That won't, that won't really cut it, will it? And they'll just walk out that way anyway. Maybe I do have to dig right there. So yeah, I think we're just gonna dig right here and have the one guy build to save himself. And that might actually end up working out for us, because I think I think what I'm going to want to do, let's see, I'm going to have the last guy build, and then build again, and then he'll be able to, let's see, what am I going to do with him, what am I going to, what's to be, what's to be done with the middle class here, let's go ahead and, uh, there we go, alright, that's just about perfect right there, let's have him straggle behind, we've already, we've only used a minute so far, that's not too bad, and they're all mildly safe right here, I like where this is going so far. I like this a lot. Let's go ahead then and build from the very edge. Hopefully, what I'm banking on here, hopefully, is that it will touch up on this little bit of goodness right here. Okay, yeah, he can walk all the way over and then through and back. Although maybe, I don't know, that's a bit much for one dude to handle. Okay, so, uh, wow, this is... Uh, He's got a he's got a ways to move, and he's only got a minute and a half left. I don't like if I speed this up and try to take out this little chunk of. Okay, wow. So he's only got a few seconds left, and he's still got to build his way to the exit. He's still got to build like five bridges or something. So yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to speed this along fairly significantly. Actually, we do have a climber. I didn't think to use a climber at all for any reason. That probably would have been probably would have been a good thing to use. If I can 
Yeah, this isn't going to move nearly quickly enough, unfortunately. If I could climb... If I could... I feel pretty confident in my ability to bomb everybody out of here. And not make a big old bollocks. Of, well, no, I don't. I don't even... I'm not even confident in that, really. So I gotta get everybody to the exit. One guy definitely has to go on and pave the way, I think. Uh, maybe dig here and then build up here while somebody else builds to here. I think we're gonna have a lot of multitaskers to deal with. I think... I think we're gonna be doing a lot of multitasking with a few different guys. This one could turn into an ouchie. Alright, let's send two guys this time. Let's speed this up. I think I want to dig in that original spot. And if I have a strategy about right here, I think this one guy dying right here uh, isn't really that big a deal. But time is of the essence here. I want to get two guys going here at the end. I think it's important to have two guys because that kind of speeds things along here. And we're going to, yeah, we're going to be digging. And we're going to be digging here and here. So we're going to take probably uh, guy numero quattro toward the end of the line here. And also the back guy. They're going to be a little bit far apart. But they're just far enough apart. I don't think it's going to matter. This is, uh, okay, this is, he'll, they'll both stop about the same time. But he'll, okay, good. I have enough compensatory space here. All right, he's going to build, and he is going to dig right about here. This is a bit iffy. They don't always build on a dig, but I think I can, uh, I think I can, uh, get it. I think he'll build from about right here. This, this I feel good about. Okay, so, and he's going to dig in the same spot as well. So, all right, yeah, he's going to also dig down through a column. So... I think he's going to be the first one to build. We need him to build first. He's going to get near the end of his little... He's going to get near the end of his little couples retreat there. All right, there we go. We're going to gather like a team. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, let's position this just so now. We need to, we need to account for them. I'm going to build... Okay, I'm going to have him build from about... Uh, do I want him to build first? I don't know. I think I want him to build first. And I want him to build. Okay, yeah, so he'll hit about right where... Okay, yeah, there we go. This is... Okay, no, I don't want you to stop right now. No, 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 no. Don't walk up over it. I wanted you to hit. Oh, crap. But, yeah, he should turn around and get to them. Does he have the time, though? If you got the time, honey, I got the money. Okay, a little bit lower and softer now. That ought to do. And I, if I go from about right here, yeah, yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think that is... Okay, that's beautiful. Okay, so you keep going now. I want you to get as low as possible. Low and slow, buddy. Here we go. All right, we're going to build it here. This is our one, two. And now if I can... I'm thinking maybe I can bomb this out. If I can bomb out a hole here, where to bomb from though? If I can bomb this out right, let's go from let's go from the left. Time is of the essence here. We don't have much time to the exit here. Let's get a guy going as far to the left as possible. Three, two, and it's about one second per. So that's wrong. Oh yeah, no, that's not the right. Okay, so from the opposite end then. Okay. Oh, whew, that was close. Okay. All right, that's good. That's great. So once he gets a little bit through his second bridge or so, this time we're going to bomb from the right because that's basically the exact opposite. Could mean an exact win here. So I think that's enough, I think that's enough time to get settled. Let's go ahead and have him go from the right. So we go three, two, one. That might... Oh! Oh, that is real pretty! Oh, that looks a little funky, actually. Looks like something got looks like something got mutated in the bombing process there. But that is enough for me. That's is that everybody? Is that is that a qualifier? That's 98%. Yeah, I only killed two guys: the bomber and the guy who went out over the digger. So perfect. All right, that was a that was a nice little level. That was nice, compact, and excellent. Very oh, and quite a time crunch too. Ooh, woo, woo. gives me chills. Gives me the good chills. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, good. Excellent. Well, then we can move on today and we can resume 
our original pace, Candelabrum, a single... That is the singular of candelabra, I guess. I never really thought about it. I thought a candelabra was a singular thing, but a candelabrum must be the one candle. Ten lemmings only, and I can kill one. That's always a comfort. Very nice. Another symmetrical level. So good with the design and the symmetrical, the pleasing aesthetic to the eye. And two minutes to be done, so doesn't look like there's going to be a lot of path crossing here, honestly. So a basher and only one basher. Only one. How is that gonna? How's that gonna work? Um. Uh. I know how. Wait. Well, maybe I know how. Uh. We're gonna have to bomb and only one digger though. Oh, how are we going to? How are we gonna sort these guys? How are we gonna sort them? We're gonna bash across the middle, obviously. Okay, and we got another 99 release rate. That's comforting. Um. Where to dig, though? Where to dig? Where to dig for the best? This! <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's stunning. That's another one of those Pagoda-type effects. This is Pagoda Street Part 2. This is basically amazing. This is this is the best work of art I've ever seen in my life. Is that... I don't think that's climbable. It's worth looking at. I think. I just want to do some quick experimentation. And two guys are guaranteed to make it. I think that's... Yeah, I've had a feeling that was solid. Just a bit of quick experimentation. Sorry you guys have to die in the name of science, but it is what it is. So two guys. Those two guys, these two guys down here are safe. But I don't think... I don't think that's how quite it's supposed to work. Hmm. If I could get a climber to go here and bomb. How many guys are on each side? If I can get a climber to go here. I only have one bomber though. I gotta get these guys out somehow. Those guys, it's important to get out of the gate. Mm, how do I get everybody... How do I get everybody eastbound and down? Let's see. Or westbound and down as the case may be. How do I... How do I sort... How do I sort? This is a nice little sortie. Here we go. I'm gonna... I don't think these guys have to be assigned anything. I'm getting a gut feeling there about that. I don't think they have any special assignments. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, wait a Okay, okay, I think I've got it. Okay, I think if we go across with these guys, and then we... No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, yeah, we need to blow up. Okay, okay, I'm getting all discombobulated here, but I think I can save these guys with a well-timed climber. I think a well-timed, I think a well-timed explosion can do it for them. I think, maybe, uh, if I can get, okay, yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get one guy to climb out here. Okay, he's going to he's going to be my climber right here, actually. Uh, and I don't think it matters really where they dig. I don't think so, anyway. Okay, yes, you climb first. Okay, and now you get to bash. But then that doesn't do anything for the bottom half. It doesn't do anything for our, our better half over here. And I forgot to bomb him, anyway. Hmm. Huh, huh, huh. Curiouser and curiouser. How am I going to split this up so that it works right? This is a very interesting level. This is a kind of level you don't usually get in Lemmings. A kind of path carving level. And it's interesting to me because usually, you know, you make your own road. You have built. It's because of the presence of builders, you know. You can make your own road, you know. You don't have to find a path to carve out. So this is really intriguing to me. Reminds me a lot of Mario and Donkey Kong minis on the move that I've been playing lately. It's got... Let's see. We've got nine climbers here. I I just it just fascinates me. This is a really cool level, and you know I'm having I'm having fun thinking of a different type of solution here because it's it's kind of in the wheelhouse of what I've been doing lately. But we have nine climbers, two apiece for each door. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe we have to make one of these guys a climber somehow. Maybe the effect cannot be immediate. Maybe if we maybe if we uh the only way to dig anyone out of here is to uh is to climb bomb. That's the only way to get anyone out of here from anywhere else. That's not the right spot though. 
But I like that. I, we have nine climbers. That that makes me think they're all going to be used usefully somehow. Boom. Okay. Oh. Oh, I think I should have made... Well, now that's a slice of fried gold right there. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh. Ooh, okay, yeah, that's a good lead. I like that. Okay, here's what I'm... Okay, that's... Okay, same spot. Nice little line of measurement right here. You get to be... And you also get to be a climber. Okay, you're going to go up into the exact spot that he makes there. Pop, and then... Yeah, okay. Okay, and then you'll take away a little bit of ground from them... And then they can just dig their way out. Okay, it doesn't really matter which way they go either. But you're gonna, cr you're gonna crack off a little piece of ground there when you get all the. No, not quite. Damn. Oh, that would have been cool. Something. Ah oh, man, that's. Oh, that seems like it would have been awesome. I I can't help but think though. That's way too cool though. That's. Oh, that's way too cool. It's got to it's got to be something like that, right? Can't imagine it'll be much different from the opposite end, but I can't help but try. Uh Yeah, same sort of same sort of deal there. Probably probably sameish outcome. Let's just uh let's just speed it up. Let's let's speed the course of disappointment along, why don't we? Uh chug chug. Yeah. Man, what a bummer. I really thought that one was going somewhere. So, back to the drawing board. This is vertical, so you can dig through it. And this is horizontal, so you can bash through it. And that's about all I can really think. I do know... I do know that if you kind of get them synchronous to where they meet in the same place, that sometimes the basher will dip a little bit to where to where the he'll he'll dip a little farther into the digger's hole and then keep going he might be able to make a little hole that way but that would involve like getting on the steel and I can't really tell what's steel here and what's not there's a thin layer right here it might be worth it though oh there he goes see that's what he's doing that's what I'm talking about. yes okay all right, now this is something I can work with. Okay, let's start. Let's start making guys. Let's start making climbers. They can all start getting in their respective little holes now. So, uh, oh wait, where's a where's a normal walker? Okay, there we go. We've got a bunch of guys now. We've got 20% in and eight out. That means we can bomb a guy. That means if we bomb a guy from the right place, can you actually get up and do this? I may have to do this from outside. Yeah, I think I have to do this from outside because I think you got to get him on the steel. I was just thinking about that. Yeah, I think you have to get up on the steel at the beginning there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go off into the water. I've got this once and for all now. Okay, so at least one guy needs to climb. Okay, and then... Okay, now... Now where about from? Because this... If you started from the line here, he got this little hole up here. Where I was trying to do the bashy thing that didn't work. So let's come from a little farther back. Try to make a little hole in the wall without making a hole in the wall, you know? No, that's not quite... No, well, that's funky. But it's not what I wanted to do. There! There we go. There's a little sliver there for him to work with now. Although I think I might have got the wrong guy digging up the way, so this might take some, this might take some fairly intense multitasking to pull off correctly. I think I may have, I think I may have made it go too far by making the second guy up here go through. Okay, I, actually, I think he still nailed. No, he didn't. Final round, fight. Okay, click him. Okay, now let's also make him a climber. And now, worry about our digger. First guy has to be the digger. That's the important part right there. And then we give these guys a second to walk, and then... Okay, there's that same little sliver right there. Now, if I do this correctly... Okay, now, I just gotta make every single element fall perfectly into place here. 
And then that way, they'll be able to climb out once they get there. Okay, there he goes. There's that little dip again. Okay, there he goes. And he's kind of like, he's kind of like inside the steel, but not really perfect. It works out perfectly, though. It's, it's an absolutely perfect. There we go. Now we are jamming. Okay. Okay, where'd the walker guy go? Okay, now you get to be one, too. We'll just try to make them lemmings all climbers as they go to the left. Okay, yeah, everybody in and out, and it should not be too hard to climb from here on out. Not, wow, that's that's pretty athletic right there. That's pretty precise and intense. I, I can't imagine it's done any other way because, I don't know, that's just, just doesn't seem like with the tools you've got you can do it. Qu oh, and I used everything, so I'm pretty sure that's the intended solution. I used every single piece of the puzzle, so I'm pretty sure I got it the way it was supposed to be done. So that's it. That's our 90%, and we're back to that good old two-level pace. So next time, we are condemned to die. I'm looking forward to it. I will see you guys next time.